Well, we are making the best of it today. Um, it's really hard to believe we were in the middle of a disaster zone, so I, I finally got a first glimpse of some of the pictures. And um, where I was located, I was in a pocket. Um, there was a section, there was a town, I think it was called Port something here. Port Mut, Mut, Mutruin, I don't know, <laughs> and Bridgewater, so kind of smack in the middle, but, so we were in a safe spot, but we still experienced a, a heavy amount of rain, um, not like what happened in Halifax, like I tell you folks, when I read that weather report when I was in Dartmouth, Again, no idea that this was going to happen, but I saw those storm sails come up and up. Why stay in an area that is going to rain? Get out of it. Somebody must have been tapping my shoulder because my stubbornness kicked in and I wasn't going to spend the money on um, a hotel at 300 plus, and that's if it was a pet friendly. And I kept going through, kept going. I thought I'll find a place, worst case scenario, I stop somewhere and I sleep, right? So I'm quick to do that. Don't like to do that, especially in this heat. I like to be able to safely put my top up, not having to worry too much and get some ventilation going. Um, so yeah, I mean, I dodged the bullet big time. It still modifies my plan a bit, because I was going to go up to Truro to do the um, tidal board. There's actually a raft that you can take out on the tidal board, so depending on the weather, whether I would have been able to do it or not. I do have a new fan set up now, so but I'd have to have the van set up as well for Ziggy because it is cooler in the back, especially on the floor. And so that Ryobi fan is just coming in amazing. I just turn it on low at night. He's, he's fine. Last night was cool, so we were good. So anyways, I'm going to get back to touring. I got another lighthouse to catch. Western Head Lighthouse and Weather Station. meters arrive at Western Head. meters arrive at Western Head. Disappointing. It's not that nice looking. 
Doesn't even look like it's been maintained. Anyways. Okay, end of Monday. We did okay. We're in the um, Thomas Riddell Provincial Park. Again, my internet access is, is sketchy, but not as bad. But this humidity is just killing me. So we are in a tent site, no power. But the good news is this freaking little bug tent has come in so handy. That's, that's the best buy, and I'm able to get it up and down easy on my own. So yeah, so the good news is I do have a uh, private RV park for the next two nights. And that way I can just stay put and tour around because there's a lot around here to see. So I will try and kick off a few things in the morning before heading down that way. And then I'll have internet access and get caught up on my videos, hopefully. All right, stay tuned. I do have, or so far, I think I have nine videos, so probably about 11 to load.